We're going to go through this 4106 today. Tighten up a couple little oil leaks, but for the most part, as you can see, it's a pretty clean and dry engine. Um, just, just a couple little things leaking oil on it. The, uh, I'm going to go through and do a tune-up on it. I've actually never done a tune-up on this one for him before. Uh, it's not running as smooth as it should be. Uh, it's, it's not missing or anything. It's just not running as smooth as it should. Got a slight, slight vibration going on. Um, pretty, pretty positive tune-up's going to solve that. Uh, a couple things. Tyler's going to tear into the drive line today. The out, rear output seal on the transmission was leaking. And further inspection on that revealed that the preload is gone on the bearings on that output shaft. So we're going to go in there and see what's going on with the bearings, replace the seals, adjust the preload. And while we already have that off, there is a pinion seal leak as well. So we're going to get into the pinion on it and pull that apart, check the preload on it, and then also uh, replace the seals. And that should fix the those couple oil leaks that he has. But uh, again, overall, you can see the engine's real clean. There's just a couple little drips that have come down under there. Um, mostly just tightening stuff up. I think the air compressor is leaking a little bit. It's dripping down and running down that frame there. Um, biggest concern right now that we're working on are some air leaks. Uh, the bus is currently losing about 10 PSI a minute, which is not going to pass its DOT inspection with that. Uh, we, we identified three separate pretty good size air leaks on it. Uh, sorry, we identified four air leaks. Three of them were pretty good size. We had, had to order some parts. The ICC brake valve uh, switch is leaking, and we've ordered a new one of those. And both wiper control um, knobs were leaking pretty good. So we've also ordered this, the, those. Um, and that's all from coming from Luke at U.S. Coach. Uh, and then once we get those fixed up, that fourth air leak is in a, somebody added on uh, an air chuck, uh, like a multi air chuck fitting, like to add air hoses to it so you can fill it up. And one of those fittings is leaking. Uh, so we're going to take that out and redo that fitting. We should be able, that should be fine. Um, we did break a fitting yesterday on an air brake chamber. There was a loose brake hose line and uh, we uh, were adjusting it tight and the, the fitting had, had come off on that. So we got to use an extractor to get that out and replace that fitting. But uh, overall things are going good. Uh, there was a leaky wheel seal up front. It wasn't getting on the brakes or anything, but it was leaking. So we pulled that off and we're getting that all fixed up. I don't know if this fan's going to mess with the video here. But yeah, everything looks real good and clean. I'm uh, just getting ready to do it. The pins on this we're replacing with uh, newer ones. Um, they were not lubricated and uh, had some wear on them. But uh, yeah, everything's going good. We've got both the front hubs off because we're just redoing those. And uh, I'll get this tune-up going here this morning and this thing should be Hopefully by Thursday we'll be done. Uh, just depends on this driveline stuff, what's going to be involved in that. But everything looks good up until there. Here's the hydraulic jack on the breaker bar to break that loose. We literally lifted the bus up about four inches off the ground. So 10, 12,000 pounds on it before it started to turn. I just had a, uh, about a two hour fight with the drive shaft but I won, it's off, uh, it needs new E-joints. Um, but we gotta get the flanges off, to replace the seals on both ends, so the transmission and the differential are both looking. But uh, got a little dirty today. So we just pulled the end of the transmission off. I knew that there was, the preload was gone on these bearings because the shaft was, the output shaft was wiggly. The great reveal. Yeah, so if Lance wants to remove his hand, <laughs> That's that bearing, but there's another bearing in there that's destroyed as well. There's a roller bearing. See this inside one down here? This used to be in something else, and the rest of that is in the transmission. Um, let me try to get down here real quick. You want to move that out of my way? A bunch of little metal pieces fell out when I pulled it out. Some of it was needle bearings. That's <laughs> cheaper. Let's see. Yeah, I, that's what we were just talking about, Tyler. Where is it? So 
So all those needle bearings are just laying there. There's a couple on the case opening there. I don't know how many are laying inside the transmission, but some of those balls are missing too, the, the big ball bearing ones. So I'm gonna pull all those out with a magnet just so they don't fall in there more. We're gonna need to make the decision if we're gonna, he, he was wanting to put an automatic in this. So we may go do an automatic, which is gonna be a big job regardless. This isn't gonna be a simple, simple job. Okay, so as you saw, the transmission is pretty much so screwed. Um, Lance found, he, he wanted to do anyways, an automatic in this bus. And he found a really good deal on an automatic V730. And I've got some of the parts that he the other people don't have. And we're gonna pull this out and put a V730 in it. And that should be, it's gonna make the bus a lot easier to drive with the automatic in there. Um, especially for him hiring drivers, you know, trying to find somebody that knows how to drive a four-speed non-synchronized transmission and make it an enjoyable ride for the clients is gonna be a little hard. I found two, they're both over 65. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, we got, we're adding that to the job. Uh, the wheels are going back on, everything's starting to come together. It's just that one little hiccup today, but um, he, he got a, he found a sweetheart deal on a trans that's, this should work out real well. So it's an extra couple of days of work for us to get it in there, but, uh, when it's all said and done, it'll be a lot better bus.